um, this is a real matter. Cartels do exist in the pharmaceutical industry, and they are very big. No debate about it. Mm. You may remember that uh, uh, the few interviews we had last November, I brought that up. So it's a solid issue. We've got cartels. You may remember also that uh, when I came to this platform, uh, I did produce to you the parliamentary uh, report yeah. in terms of which contracts ZAMS has entered into. These cartels are not small boys. They have roots at every level of the pharmaceutical supply chain in this country. Mm -hmm. So we do have cartels. Now what is missing is that when the minister and any other <coughs> government official talks about stamping out these cartels, mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that is a genuine call. It's a, or it's a call for face value that I'm not sure of. Why do I say this? We know, for example, that it's not a secret. You yourself told me that when you walk into the pharmacy mm. in your area, who do you see? You find an Indian. That is a known fact. Mm. But suffice to say is that not everyone actually is in the cartel. The cartel is indeed there. It exists. It does exist. So when we hear our leaders talk about it, we are happy because then we are speaking one language. But it's how we wish to get rid of the cartel where we are differing. Mm. And what the, is your approach? The approach is simple. When you go to Zamsa, Mm. When you go to Zamra, where they are paying people at Zamsa, they are paying people at Zamra, mm. do you see any foreigner there? Do you see any foreigner at Zamsa? Right. I mean, a foreigner cannot be given a job at Zamsa, I believe, because those jobs are meant for the citizens. Correct. When you go to Zamra, you won't find a foreigner there. When you go to MOH itself, from my sister or a brother who is cleaning to the minister herself. Mm. Do you see any foreigner there? No. No. So how do these cartels operate? Mm. They have got our own people in all these institutions that are necessary for the supply chain of pharmaceuticals in Zambia. When you look at the, this document, that's a ZAMSA document that they gave to Parliamentary uh, Committee on Health last year. Those are contracts that ZAMSA had signed uh, between January and uh, 16th November. Those are contracts. There are 34 contracts there with a total combination of uh, a total combined value of about uh, 2 billion. When you analyze that document, of the 34 contracts we are talking about, 23 were given to foreign companies. You understand? Mm -hmm. Those 23 constitute about $1.8 billion. Mm -hmm. Okay? Those 23 contracts given to foreign companies constitute about $1.8 billion uh, kwacha, over the two billion that Zamsa had sanctioned in contracts. When you want to fight these cartels, like I started saying, you won't find a foreigner at Zamsa. The director general at Zamsa is as Zambian as any one of us can be. But is the one giving those contracts in favor of foreigners. So, when you talk about cartels, 
you must understand that they have got deep roots and how they operate. There, Zambians were given a combined value of less than 100 million of the 2 billion. And I told you last time that when I look at most Zambians that they had considered for those awards, had actually performed. But Zamsa will still tell you that the problem is Zambians capacity. have no mm. capacity. Mm. I want to explain to you this issue of cartels and how it operates. So Zamsa would rather ship money. Zamsa would rather ship money as they did with the money they were given last year. Majority of it was shipped. It is with the foreign hands, whether paid or awaiting to be paid.